Hello, welcome. We are in the RCF, as you can probably tell, but we're actually going to be changing vehicle in a bit. We're heading to a spa today. Me and Meadow, say hi Meadow. Hi. I'm putting an M25, so I have plenty of time to talk. We're going to be picking up an LC500 today, and that's what today's all going to, going to be all about. Driving it, seeing what it's like. I've drove it before, but I haven't driven it into the extent of using it for more than like five, ten minutes. It's like probably like 20 minute drive, but I'll now actually get some time with it because I've been driving for about uh, six hours in it, which is a lot more time to get used to it and, and make it more your car. But anyway, we're heading there now and uh, I'll see when we get there. So this, calls a Horizon, is a proper UK road. I mean, I say that, this is actually a big one. We wanted much smaller a second ago. But Lexus is apparently in the middle of absolutely nowhere, um, taking us on these back roads and stuff. But hey, we're almost there, like five minutes away, and then we pick up an LC, and then we drive on these roads again in an LC, which I think is a bit bigger. Look at that. That is crazy. We just arrived here, and this building is awesome. Uh, as you can see, this is where it's gonna remain for a little bit and uh, I'm gonna miss it. All the Lexus people maybe get some inspiration on what colors they should do for their next cars. Anyway, uh, we're moving stuff across now. The LC that we did see is actually our one. So we've got the LC500H for now, and I think we're gonna swap to the V8 version on the way back. So this is the vehicle we have right here. The red looks amazing, and we actually have tanned kind of brown leather interior, which I've never been a huge fan of brown leather interior. It looks pretty decent in this, but we'll see. I do like the variation with the red leather in that car, and I'd love to see one. Hopefully we get to see one during the weekend. I got one of them. Let me get your bag. Tell them about the sign inside. Oh yeah. So as we went in, it says um, Lexus UK welcomes Theo and Meadow Thomas, which is pretty sweet actually on the screen. As soon as I saw it, I said, Meadow, go grab the camera. But I think you got a picture of it, didn't you? I took a picture on my phone. Okay, I, yeah. I can show them that. Yeah. So I wanted to show the key quickly. So you've got that, the RCF's key. Uh, switch it around just so they can see. Very nice, pretty normal. And then we got this, which is the LC500's key, which is a little bit different. I kind of like this one. It's got like a nice hold to it. I was actually put loads of EU stuff in for us because... Oh, you should do his paperwork about driving in the EU and stuff. That's sweet, thank you. Oh, and fire... Yeah, that's literally everything. That's all we need. The, the Viz jacket. That's awesome. Also has these cool handles that a lot of the modern cars have. How do I do that? You just pull it. Just... Uh. We're back in the inside of the LC500. I'll probably do another look at it in another location so I can properly show you, but... Bunch of carbon bits. Bunch of... Brown leather. <laughs> Which is interesting indeed, but I'm gonna wait for Meta to get back to show the cool screen because that, like, it just the whole glass air looks super sweet. It's very, very similar inside. Now, have you noticed something about what's in front of you? This. And there. Handles. They're handles for when I put my foot down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the hybrid, as said, so uh, let's have a listen, shall we? Is it on? <laughs> I think it might be on. It's on now, I think. Because it's a hybrid. Yep. Here we are in the middle of somewhere, I don't know where it is. Uh, we've pretty much driven here, it's underneath London, Surrey Hills area. So, as I said, this is the LC500H. This is the vehicle I've got until we get there, and I think on the way back we're gonna swap, as I said. You know what, I actually quite enjoy this. So the, the performance of the hybrid isn't that far off. Obviously I would've preferred the V8 version, but apparently someone got here before us, so they got the V8 version. Obviously that's the one you choose, but this is actually not too bad. If you look at the statistics and the stats, everything, Performance wise, they're pretty darn close. The wheels are like, they seem massive compared to mine. They do. But there's a lot more tire to them as well. We have arrived. That was actually a pretty cool journey. I'm enjoying this car quite a lot actually. It's a little bit of a different character compared to the RCF. Uh, but anyway, so we have over here lots and lots of traffic as we wait to pile on, <laughs> shove into this train. There's, there's freight that side, which I thought was quite cool, and there's passengers this side. So I wonder like how many freight trucks, do they? Do, do freight trucks go first maybe? Do they mix and match? Like, I don't know how maybe tall the train is. Maybe there's different sections? I don't know. I feel mean. I don't. But we didn't, we, we, we have Flexi Plus, so. Yeah, we're allowed to do this. Okay, we've made it. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, I was gonna say French, we're in Belgium now. Belgium services, what one of the many. Did it, first time, and now learned a valuable lesson as to not actually use the upstairs, uh, which I learned 
after I did it. We already know what's coming. Sad boy hours. I was very was much more frustrated than this earlier, but I've done a meaty curb. It's pretty much, I wouldn't say half the wheel, I'd say like one third, quarter, quarter of the wheel. Which is rather unfortunate, but hey, we made it anyway, and uh, I learned. So for those that want to do that, do that uh, make sure that if you have a wide car, you ask them for the more space. You can either get the double space, or you can get downstairs, it's wider apparently. I didn't know that. Downstairs, it's easier to go in. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The hard part is turning in and then going up. And it's got these big curves on the side of it. So that's why I don't go to multi story. We are on the E40. Yes, I'm learning learning French, Belgian. That's what we're doing. Anyway, I apologize. There's someone probably being really offended by <laughs> me saying French, France all the time. Uh, so we are uh, probably two hours out. Yes, like exactly that. two hours now. Two hours out. Look at that. It's in the brain. <laughs> two hours out. And I've been driving this for. Well, all day now since half twelve, yeah, pretty about. much, uh, and it's like six p.m., probably five p.m. So five hours. I'd say that's a good time to kind of get a first idea of the car. So, turning circle a million times better. Four wheel steering obviously helps a whole bunch. Uh, if you've driven a car with four wheel steering, you'll know it. Like it feels like it turns on the spot almost. It's crazy. And there are two police cars behind me. Did I do anything wrong? <laughs> said this is the hybrid model I've driven the V8 version before on a video it doesn't feel like a normal hybrid I've driven the uh, the Lexus hybrid I've seen how a Prius performs those are really slow you put your foot on you go absolutely nowhere this handles and performs I'd say almost as well as the RCF does and the other LC obviously they're, they're pretty similar in performance and you know I if, if I was looking at buying one of these cars I would actually seriously consider an LC 500h because mileage okay in an rcf and i assume an lc 500 you're looking at about 250 to 300 miles at best this i jumped in and it was like oh you have like 550 miles range i'll take that not a complaint it's it's a good thing but also i, I miss my car in a way because it, it feels great it feels more it's like a re more refined version of my car it's a more sporty looking version of my car. The, the heads up display and stuff and everything is just a million times better. But I feel like they've fixed a whole lot of things that I felt were almost quirks that I like about my car. Don't get me wrong, in every way it almost feels this is better. But I feel like the imperfections of mine I've become attached to and I love it for that. Which is really strange. One thing that I notice a lot in this car is I don't really notice it that much in my car because I have a loud exhaust anyway. I'll just put the window down and it's always oh, it's gonna be louder. This has a lot of sound through the speakers for speed. And it sounds like a Dyson. But it does have this cool like LFA looking dash. It looks like the Lexus LFA and then it's like what's what's the it's the best Lexus ever made. It looks like that. If I was gonna buy one of these I personally would go for the LC500, the V8 model, but th there are rumours actually of a, um, an LCF coming out, which surely must be better than the LC500. The LC500 has a V8, 5 litre V8, the exact same 5 litre V8 as my car, and mine's the F, mine's the high performance one. So what are they going to do? That's my question. I always keep speaking about this because are they going to do a hybrid, they keep talking about doing a performance hybrid in where they have a V8 and a hybrid, which would be insane. Because this, the hybrid engine, I actually, I kind of like it, but I do wish I still had my V8 at the same time. That would make crazy power and sure, everyone's only performing hypercars and stuff, but it would bring it to a normal car.
Good morning, welcome back to Spa. Well, not really Spa, Spa de Parken, something like that. Anyway, so behind us is the LC500H that we drove here yesterday, and now I'm gonna have a little bit of time in the LC500, which is the V8 model, which has the exact same V8 as my RCF. So it's a V8 I'm used to, it's a platform I'm used to, I'm excited. We're also gonna be driving this vehicle home, but I wanted to get the video out today, so we're driving it today. We're gonna go drive it around this amazing area. The cars pretty much look visually identical. As you can see, I don't think there's really any difference. The tires are different on that. That's literally about it. The plates actually are exactly the same except for the last letter, which is pretty cool. And on this model, we actually have the black interior, which is a million really times nice. better. <laughs> This car, pretty much the same, but it has the V8. It sounds much cooler. <laughs> I doubt it's artificial noise. If it is, it's coming from the back speakers. It sounds great. I would love to see what this sounds like with like an aftermarket exhaust on it, like that of my RCF. But unfortunately, I can't just slap on an aftermarket exhaust, exhaust for a press car. We jumped into this, and I don't know if they've refueled or not, because as I said, the other people drove this. Uh, we currently have 66 kilometers of range, which is probably like, what, 40 miles, something like that. Um, <laughs> I don't know, this is the top of my head. So yeah, the fuel, uh, you're not gonna get as many miles because that still was just under half a tank. And I was driving it pretty aggressively for the most part. If you don't care about fuel, go on this one, but you do get this. <laughs> just the upshift noise alone is enough for me. And I'm, oh God, we got into traffic that we don't need to be in. You've been in both. Yes. You were a little underwhelmed by the power of the last one. What, do you feel this one's faster? Yes, I do. You do? I do think it's faster, definitely. Do you, do you think it's faster or do you think it's just the sound? Um, I think it's faster because I get the like, it pushes me back more. The other car didn't do that. Okay. So that's why I actually think it's faster. We've come into the town of, I'm guessing, the local area. Well. Well, it's a good job we have the re reversing camera and four-wheel steering because it means we can get out of tight situations like this. This is the adventures of driving in a country you've never been to yeah. before. I've got to say, this car is... I feel like it's a much better town car than my car because of the, I think the, the rear-wheel steer, as I keep calling it four-wheel steer, but the rear-wheel steer helps out a whole bunch on turning circles and that kind of thing and manoeuvring. And I almost feel like... The visibility and everything is better in this car because I can, I can, I feel like the car feels smaller than my car. Visibility and the fact that I can turn better on the spot. I do like the turning. The turning is actually really cool. It's I really just amazing. feel, I just feel like I can maneuver it more. But still, it's 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 a different class of vehicle almost. I know it's. I mean, sure, it could be within the same category, performance-wise and everything. It could be within the same category, but. It feels more like this is something my dad would drive. It's more like refined, it's more, you know, whereas the RCF is much more like a BMW where it's shouty and silly. Like, you can do that. It's like, it has not supercar performance, but it has like Grand Tourer super kind of performance. My car has like the, the stupidness. And they're two very different beasts once you actually drive them. And that's with the V8 or the hybrid. Pretty much a roundup of me driving the LC500 to Spa, and now we're at Spa, but it's actually going to be starting soon. We're going to be doing a few things with Lexus. So Lexus invited us out here and gave us this car to obviously drive and stuff. So massive, massive thank you to them. And we're going to be doing a couple of videos over the next, well, couple of days. So hopefully you guys will be joining us and hopefully you're as excited as I am about Spa. And hopefully you found this video helpful or useful in some way. And I told you something a little bit about the LC500. Now, please Lexus, Bring us the LCF. Until next time, peace.